this video is going to show you how to do a little bit of output formatting. So um, right now, if I try to run this without debugging, um, I get that message on the screen directly after my actual output that says press any key to continue. And um, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do actually will knock that down to the next line so it doesn't take up room on your screen. And that is to uh, go ahead and add another insertion operator and then end L. That's an L, not a one. It's short for end line. What it does is knock the cursor on the console down to the next line. So if I run this guy, now it should not have that. Please press any key. See, it's knocked down to the next line of the console. Um, I can actually add a bunch of these guys in a row and it will knock it down once for each of them. So if I want that line to be very much separated from what I outputted, I can shove it down on the screen, okay? Um, if I don't have these guys in here, I can actually put out multiple pieces of data next to each other. So like, let's say I want to do a bunch of these DFTBAs. Um, I have one option I can go like this and take these guys and put them all inside here to get them all on the screen, or I can separate them as um, individual components. Every time I do though, I need to make it a new string literal by putting quotation marks around it. So I can have oh, a bunch of these in a row, um, and they will all still appear on the same line. So if I take a look at this, note both those guys are smushed next to each other. Um, I can put endels in between multiple pieces like that and have them knocked down to the next line. So there we go. Um, I can also switch back and forth between string literals and other kinds of literals. So for example, let me get rid of this guy. I can put um, numbers inside here in the quotation marks and they will show up on the screen as numbers. But numerical values are actually already literals. So I can actually just do this. Um, they don't need to be inside quotation marks. Oops. They can just be uh, by themselves and it will output the same way if I put them on the screen. So there we go, one, two, three, DFTBA. Um, and I can separate as many of these pieces as I want. Now, later on, this is gonna let us do math on the numbers, which is why we don't wanna put quotes around them. Anything that has quotation marks around it, we can't really do mathematical operations on. So we wanna keep numerical values outside of quotes as much as possible. Okay, so that's endl. Um, I have another option for knocking stuff down to the next line, and that's these uh, things called escape sequences. Anything that starts with a backslash and then has another symbol next to it, to the right of it, is called an escape sequence. And what it tells the uh, computer to do is, is uh, backslash means get ready because the next thing I'm going to put in means to do something special. So the one to drop to a new line is a backslash n. And it has the same exact output effect as an endl. So if I wanted those DFTBAs all on separate lines, I could put a backslash n in there between them. I don't need any spaces. It's going to knock them all down to the next line. So let's see what that looks like. So now I've got my don't forget to be awesomes down the screen. Um, I also have other escape sequences. So there is backslash t, which will move the output over to the next tab stop like this. So we've got some spacing in between them. They're not squished together. Um, and I've got other escape sequences I can use um, that are kind of weird. So let's say I wanted to put something actually in quotes. Now you'll notice that my string literals are surrounded by quotes already. So the compiler says, okay, a quote means I'm about to start a string literal. If I actually want to print one on the screen, I need to stick a backslash in front of it. So if I wanted to actually have this appear inside quotes on my console, I would need a backslash quote for each of the quotation marks I want to print. So when, if I run this guy, now I've got DFTBA in quotes, that's not really cool because we don't want to be sarcastic in our forgetting, don't forgetting to be awesome. Okay, um, same thing for these guys. If I want apostrophes, I need to do the same thing. So if I want a single quote, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up. It's lagging. Let me try it again. Oh, you laggy beast. I'll show you again in a second. 